Okay, occasionally when we mail shears, we have long skinny codicles. This is not a particularly good example and we don't have any in stock right now, but if it was about half as wide as this and even longer, that's like the perfect type of codicle to use to touch up a shear. Uh, this is the Dovo Elitaire 6 inch 240606. It's the best selling shear that we have. So we're using this as the example. So this is a hollow ground and honed shear. So you're looking at the, this is the inner bl blade plane here, and you can see that it's been dug out, but it also has a little sharp edge where the, dupe, where the two inner blade planes come together. So that is not something that you can sharpen yourself. But the part on the outside of where the two blades come together, the primary cutting surface here and, uh, and here, it's not very hard to get that sharper with a codicle. Okay, so this is how we do it. Uh, you take your long skinny codicle and you start like this and you finish like that. And you just take the long contact patch and in one continuous stroke, always moving away from where the flat part of the blade planes intersect and either starting over here and finishing at the joint or starting at the joint and finishing over here. But you want to have one long continuous stroke where every part of the bevel plane is getting a little bit of codicle time. So I typically tell people to start over here because most barbers use this part of their shear more than they use the inside part. And, uh, and if, you, if you start on the joint and finish at the end, uh, most of the time you'll, you'll rip off the end and won't give the end as much stone mileage as it needs. But in any case, you know, this, this little bevel plane is about 35 to 40 degrees and it's a flat piece of an angle. So when you put your codicle on there, you should be able to feel the codicle resting on that bevel plane and you just move it along like this. Make sure the codicle is wet. Make sure you're always moving away from the inner blade plane. And then you flip it over and then do the same thing over here. And you can keep your, uh, you can keep your shears away from the professional sharpener for a long time if you do that.